Welcome to another video by Odd Job Fix. I have a great tip to show you today. As a restorer slash repairman, I run into mortise and tenon a lot, furniture, cabinetry, sometimes even picture frames. So if the mortise and tenon has been fastened with a dowel or a nail, that can be very difficult to remove the joint. That's what this video is all about. This is what's known as a blind mortise and tenon. You can't see it on either end or edge. This is a very difficult mortise and tenon to make, by the way, with the rabbit. Uh, maybe I'll show how to do this in a future video. Nevertheless, it's very strong as it is but if there is a nail or a dowel through, then it's called a pinned mortise and tenon. And that can make it very difficult to remove. If I want to take it apart this way, it's possible that the nail will rip out of the grain this way. However, if this weren't a blind mortise and tenon and I wanted to remove the tenon by sliding it out, having a pin right here is going to want to rip out all of this on this side of where it's pinned. So it becomes essential to remove any pin dowel that is through the tenon here in order to disassemble this without making a lot of damage. And so I'm going to show how I went about that on this video. All right, what we have here today is a screen. It's uh, probably HO in Mexico. It's got some significant damage here. What else is unique about this is that it's not an inlay. The wood, the yellow, the orange, the black is just stained. There are some missing pieces, but I have those. Let's get on with it. Now the first thing you want to do with something like this is to try to determine how these joints are put together. So this is a rare earth magnet and it definitely likes that spot right there. So I believe it would be nailed through a tenon. Let's go down here. I see Right there, I suspect. Well, I don't know if you saw that. I think just look at that. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, that's the story. So we're going to have to hunt for those. Or we can spread this apart. All right, well, <clears throat> I've uh, removed the, the top piece and the first the panel here, and I decided that if I remove one more bar, I can move all of this through the top and then make the necessary repairs down here and then slide it back in. So what I did on the first two nails was I made a witness mark across I took an ice pick and did the best I could to actually find the head of the nail. By the way, the nail that I'm looking for is a, a little two-penny finish nail, three-penny. When they get this small, I really don't know. I'm going to use a drill guide, and I'm going to locate it by finding my hole. It seems pretty good. It's kind of a crapshoot is whether I can actually get on top of the nail and the, and the bit will stay there. but. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's see if we can go right down the center. It'd be nice if I saw some metal chips, but it's a pretty small nail. But what we'll do if we see if we can see if I actually got it out of the way or not. Just take a little block and cap this. I think I think I was successful. I've got my magnet over here. I'm going to double check my witness marks and just do the same thing as I did here. And when we get back, hopefully we can just slide all this out. Glue up our problem, put it back together, and then we'll just use eighth inch dowels, color the ends to finish the job. The third rail that came to me was three pieces, so all we've got to do is glue this up, clamp it for a little bit, and then we can slide it in there, followed by the, the panel. Well, here we are where we were yesterday where I clamped up that middle rail that was broken into three pieces. I'm going to move this forward and get ready to slide the other panels in and then put in the next two rails. There's two over there. There's the next to the top and the top. So let me set the camera down and I'll get that. That's how that goes in there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, that'll work. It goes without saying, you always want to keep track of Right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that uh, rail did not quite line up with the style, so I'm going to clamp it down. I'm not going to worry about clamp marks. This is a pretty inexpensive piece, so. This is the last scene I'm going to show in this video. The, the rest of it was just uh, getting this straightened out here and then I went on to put some dowels in the holes that I had drilled and um, you've seen that many times before or I've done it many times before. I just want to take a quick second to say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I wish you would and give me a thumbs up. It helps all of us. Have a great day, folks.